it's been a lot to take in. It's been an emotional day. Welcome to the city of Ypres, here in the Flanders region of Belgium. And we're surrounded by the Ypres salient battlefields. That's right, that's where a lot of these cemeteries and memorials and museums are that honor the battles that took place here during the First World War. Which ended 100 years ago this fall. And we're going to bring you along with us as we explore this significant area to the whole world, mm -hmm. but with a lot of Canadian connections as well. So to start things off, we stayed at the New Regina Hotel on the Market Square in the heart of historical Ypres. There is an on-site restaurant with a bar and terrace, breakfast is included, and there are 28 renovated rooms. And ours had a great view of a medieval building called the Cloth Hall, which is also where the In Flanders Field Museum is, which was our first stop. It tells the historical story of the First World War in the West Flemish Front region. There's a lot of stuff to see in this museum, it's pretty interactive. It was opened in 1998 and kind of serves as the last great witness of the Great War. And then from there we went to the Essex Farm Cemetery. This is where Lieutenant Colonel John McRae of the Canadian Army Medical Corps wrote the poem In Flanders Fields in May 1915 and where a month before that the guns of the 1st Canadian Artillery Brigade stood. There are over a thousand servicemen from the First World War who were buried and commemorated here. And then we went for lunch to the Old Cheese Factory which began in 1930 but was completely renovated in 2002. As you might guess, you can get some great cheese here, among other things, and they even offer cheese-making workshops if you feel so inclined. And now we're at the St. Julian Memorial. Better known as the Brooding Soldier. And it commemorates the Canadians who fought in the Second Battle of Ypres. And this is where over 2,000 people were killed in the German gas attacks. So this corner as well is called Vancouver Corner. And that's kind of apropos for us because we are from Vancouver, right. British Columbia, Canada. But there's still more to check out around here with a Canadian connection. So we went from there to the Memorial Museum Passchendaele 1917, which covers one of the bloodiest battles of the First World War. Here you can go down into a dugout to get a bit of an idea of what life might have been like in one of those. And then you can also go outside the museum into a trench experience to get just a tiny taste of what that might have been like. And then from there we went to the Tynacott Cemetery, which is the largest Commonwealth War Graves Commission cemetery in the world, now the resting place for almost 12,000 servicemen of the British Empire. This area was the scene of the Third Battle of Ypres, which is also known as the Battle of Passchendaele. And then from there we went over to Menin Gate for the last post, which every evening at 8 p.m. precisely since 1928 they've done this ceremony. This is where the British troops march through to defend Ypres salient, and it also displays the names of almost 55,000 soldiers from the British Empire who went missing in action. And then from there we went for dinner at Les Alles Market Cafe, which is located opposite of the Town Hall Museum building. It's got sort of a casual cafe atmosphere with some original dishes, some classic dishes, and of course some delicious Belgium desserts. So our day in Ypres here in Flanders has come to an end. It's been pretty incredible. We just scratched the surface, you know, going to two cemeteries, there's about 160 here. A lot of people passed away in the First World War, including about 60,000 Canadians who were fighting in it. And uh, overall in the First World War, 18 million is what they estimate died. Yeah, so it's been a lot to take in. It's been yeah. an emotional day, uh, but it's, I'm very grateful to be here to experience this and also just grateful to be around thanks to everybody's sacrifice yeah. here on the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War. Yeah. And we've got an, another amazing location in Flanders to show you next week. So make sure you subscribe if you're new so you don't miss that. And follow me on Instagram to see pictures from this area as well, including this very cute city behind us. Bye. Bye.